guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Katie. Um, so for this video, I decided I should do a little update video about my uh, college life and all. Because from my recollection, I can't speak from my recollection, I don't think I've done one yet. Um, so I thought I'd just uh, ramble off a few answers about my college life and experience thus far and um yeah so let's begin question one i think we should just start with what year in, in college are you what what year are you i am a sophomore um so that means it's my second year for anybody who doesn't know those um my second year of college I figure the next question should be um, what college do I go to? Um, I currently go to St. Mary's College in Maryland. I transferred here this year and um, before that, for my freshman year of college, I attended Point Park University in Pittsburgh, which I love a lot, um, but it had its issues and um, it ultimately just was cheaper and better for my future to come back to a college here in Maryland and um, which is where I'm from and where I was living and um, I chose St. Mary's because um, they well, they offered a great financial aid package which was really important to me. I got um, great scholarships here and um, it was also important to me to go to a small school. Um, this school is bigger than the school I was at before but it's still a very quaint and small school and the class sizes are small, for example. In most of my classes I have this semester, which um, it's my second semester, I have like 13, 10, 13 people in it. So I really, really like that. I really like a nice, quaint, small size class um, because you can connect with the teacher or the professor more and you can get more personal time. You can, you have the time to ask the questions you uh, really need to and the professor can really um, develop a rapport with you and cater more to each individual person rather than when you're in those huge lecture halls with 90 plus people or whatever I don't know there there's a lot you know it, it begins to get difficult to uh, you know feel like you, you're really being taught and feel like really been understood by the professor which I think is very important um so yeah um hmm. question three I suppose would be um do I enjoy college or you know am I enjoying the college I'm at um yes and no uh, I am enjoying the college because it is a great college it's really nice but it's also kind of boring here compared to I think this is just compared to the school I was at my freshman year um, at Point Park they had something going on every weekend there was also always a really fun activity or something you can go to and just get your mind off the fact that you're away from home or anything like that or just you know relax and have a break um, from class here they did not have that as they haven't had that as much but I am seeing um, my as I come back for second semester we just started I think this is about to be the second week yeah this is about to be the second week so we just started back but already I'm seeing from the program bo programs board this time around that they're doing a lot more activities so I don't know if that's something the school the campus was lacking in and they are now seeing that and starting to um, cater to that and have more activities but they definitely do and they all sound really exciting and fun so update on that once I've gone to some more of them and experienced it and decided whether or not it's you know up to par or something that I like or not I don't know um oh I guess really question three should have been this but that's fine we'll make it question four question four is uh what is your major or what are you going to school for um so my major is chemistry um when i was at point park my major was forensic science um and it was chemistry and biology heavy which i enjoyed but 
um, the biology part of that at Point Park was not really up to par with what I thought I should be getting. I thought I was paying for a class that I really was not being taught at all. And that's in the lecture as well as the lab. We would go to lab and the labs weren't working out. We didn't have the proper equipment. And for as much as we were paying, that didn't make any sense to go to, to a lab that was less equipped than a high school biology lab, if you ask me. And I don't know if that was the teacher's fault. I don't know if that was the program's fault. There was a lot of things going on with um, the dean there, actually, that or the president there, not the dean, um, that they didn't weren't really spending or giving up the campus money as they should have been. I don't know all of it. I didn't do a lot of research in it. I really just focused on me and what I needed and what I decided was that I needed to transfer and I transferred here. Here at St. Mary's College of Maryland, I am a chemistry major, um, which I can get the same job I wanted to get um, uh, with the forensic science major, though forensic science degree looks, I, I mean, I assume it would look a lot better to uh, jobs than chemistry degree because that's one side of it. You don't really have a lot of the biology, though there are a few, quite a few biology classes I will be taking towards the end of my uh, end of my school time here in my senior year probably. Um, that will be very beneficial and very helpful. Um, but I guess you want to know what the job is. I want to be a crime lab technician, um, forensic lab technician, and basically that is the person who will um, do all the uh, and that, well, I guess you could do investigating. So you could do crime scene analysis as well as um, in lab analysis. I will focus more on the lab analysis, and I want to be the one that's going through all the uh, evidence and connecting it back to the to the um, crime or the whatever it is, and solving that. And um, I'm really excited to do that. So that and. Um, pretty much everything else in the world and I really mean that like it's not even a joke like um, a lot of people have a hard time finding out like one thing they want to do and my problem is I have entirely too many things I want to do and uh, I have a really hard time just committing to one and only one but um, that's the one I've committed to for right now but I definitely will be the type of person that's always in school always going back to do different things and trying out new things I know for a fact I'm gonna have more than just one career but that's what I'm focused on currently um, I think I had one more question oh, uh, uh, it was about the dorm so basically what's dorm life like for me, dorm life uh, this year has been a lot different than it was my freshman year. Um, some very big pros and some very big cons. Um, the biggest pro for me this year is that I uh, was first staying, well I still am staying in a double, but I first had a roommate um, that it just didn't, it didn't end up working out. Um, not between really us, like we didn't clash or anything, but um, Either way, I ended up just being in this double by myself, which I really enjoyed. I would have liked to have a um, single bedroom, but first of all, they're more expensive. And second, um, at this campus, it seems as though the um, single bedrooms go more for people who need it for medical reasons and other things like that, who actually need it, get uh, priority over those who just prefer it which I understand and I get that and so yeah but I ended up being able to be in this double and have the room to myself which I have been enjoying being having my solitude I'm a very introverted person so I like to be alone a lot of the time and you also don't have to worry about like bothering anybody if you have to get up early for your class and they don't or if you're coming back in late you don't have to worry about it you, there's just so much so, uh, you know less logistics to work out when you're staying by yourself and I really enjoyed it and I also think I've gotten the chance to just see what that feels like to be by myself. I am very independent and I plan to move out as soon as I'm able to from my parents house and maybe probably not far at all from them because I love my family and I love to be around them and I'll probably go to their houses all the time all day every day anyway but 
I would like to be independent and I would love to just be able to have my own and I feel like this year I've been able to experience being on my own and just adjusting to that so that's been really nice. <sighs> Cons, community bathrooms which by the way aren't as horrible as they are made to seem I think. I thought they were going to be much much worse and much harder to um, adapt to. But honestly, they're not that bad. Um, I think it probably works in a bigger school. I, that's another thing I like about this being a small school. There's always certain times, you know, where you can go in there and it's not a bunch of people in there. I have a certain time I go pretty much every night and I can get in there, get out. There's not a lot. Normally, there's nobody in there, actually, and it's just pretty easy. Um, but it kind of sucks because um, you just, it's very small showers um, the only thing that uh, is a barrier between you and people seeing you is a one little curtain shower curtain type of thing that doesn't really go all the way to the doors and you know th that aspect of it is not my favorite it's just very you know just not as much privacy as you would be used to or as you would want but um, like I said normally when I go in there there's nobody in there anyway so not that bad um, the bathrooms uh, are what you ex would expect, um, better than high school bathrooms, I guess, you know. Normally the people, at least on my floor, keep it pretty decent, pretty clean. They clean the bathroom themselves, it's not too bad. Um, so, it's not that bad. But, it was a big adjustment for me because my freshman year at Point Park University, they had dorms with in-suite bathrooms where you had your own bathroom and you only shared it with your one other roommate or if you were in a triple with those three roommates so you you know it was like a full bathtub which I didn't use because I just didn't I used the shower. It's the face you make when you just you know continue to ramble on the other half of your video but your camera decided I'm just not gonna record no more so let me just pick back up where I left off. So, I was talking about how the, it was a big adjustment from uh, for me to the uh, bathrooms here because the bathrooms in Point Park uh, were in suite. They you had them to yourself. Um, it was a full actual bathroom and everything. And without rambling on the rest of that, because I don't want to continue to say things I've already said. Um, yeah, it was just a better bathroom, more privacy. Um, more convenient and right there in your room you didn't have to leave your room to go to the bathroom or anything like that so that was nice um oh duh. so we're talking about college I'm sure you want to know what classes are you taking um because I'm starting uh I'm making this video while I'm in my second semester I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I was taking in my first semester so what I've already taken and what I'm now taking so, um, first semester I was taking Calculus 1, um, I was also elected to be a part of the Emerging Scholars Program for Calculus, so that was a second Calculus class, um, that I took Monday night, 6 to 9, so I was in that, um, I was taking General Chemistry 2, and the lab component for that, uh, and I was also taking Anthropology 101. And I think that was it. I think, yeah, I think that was it for uh, first semester. They were uh, good classes. Um, I enjoyed them. Mm. Best favorite class would probably the chemistry class, chemistry lab to be specific. I liked lecture as well. I had really great. Um, professors for both. They were different ones, um, but I really enjoyed chem labs because I like to be hands on and it was really great and really fun. We did some awesome projects and um, yeah. So now this semester I am taking quantitative chemical analysis, the lab component for that. I'm taking Spanish 1, I'm taking Biblical Foundations, and I am taking Calc 2. Not by choice. I really hate, I really, really hate calculus, but um, I need it for my major, and so I'll suffer. Why did, you know, why, why, Katie, did you pick 
a major that had so much math in it when you hate math. Katie doesn't know. I would be like, I, mm, I ask myself that question all the time. I really love chemistry. The math in chemistry is not as bad as just regular math. I don't know why. Probably just because I'm solving problems I want to solve that actually have an answer like not asking me how fast was the sun going around the moon on the third day of September if there was a cow. Like, I don't care. I don't know. And I, I don't really want to find out. You know? But yeah, so there's that. Um, oh, another question people always ask me um, who haven't got to college yet or just are at a different college is how's the food? Food here is okay. It's pretty good. Um, better than Point Park. Um, I have to say, uh, because that was one of the reasons I left Point Park. Um, I, a lot of people actually were, but I'm going to speak for me because I know what I was doing. I was getting sick from their food in the cafeteria and I stopped going to their cafeteria altogether and I would only go to um, Point Cafe where they made the food right there in front of you and I would eat that and I didn't get sick off of that but the stuff in the cafeteria I was and they really didn't want to make any arrangements to make that better. Also, I was like, okay, you know what? Instead of just spending, because you have to spend more to eat in Flint Cafe. It's not a, not all of it is a part of your meal swipes. Um, so I would it, uh, eventually run out of money for Point Cafe, and I'm like, okay, well, I'll start just buying my own food. We go to the store on the weekends and stuff through the shuttles, and I was like, I'll buy noodles and things like that because you know you can hook up some noodles, everything will be fine. I don't care. But the microwaves didn't work. The one that was in my building didn't work at all. Like every once in a while it would work for like one round and then somebody else would try to use it. It didn't work at all. And so I was so um, I was forced to go downstairs to the other building, which wasn't that bad. We had a skywalk so you didn't really have to actually leave my building, if that makes any sense. But you didn't have to go outside. So I went to the other building and I would use that microwave and that worked for a few weeks but then everybody was using that microwave because that the other one didn't work so I you know I guess it broke it was just overused and that one broke and so that's when I reported it because I was like you know this is kind of my only means to eat right about now and they basically were like eh well poor you I guess you know and they didn't really want to fix that so that was another reason I was like gotta get out of here but um and I know it's really conflicting because I really, really love Point Park. The perfect. Oh, that's my phone. Sorry. Not important right now. Um, the professors were amazing. The atmosphere was amazing. Um, campus life was awesome. But there were a few minor details that really made big differences, though. Um, and, you know, obviously you got to eat while you're on campus. If you can't do that, then you should probably head to a different one. So I made that choice. Um, but the food here is pretty good. Um, really no complaints. I haven't got sick from it. There's plenty of options. Um, options for people who are like vegan and vegetarian as well, which is pretty cool. Um, it's also, it's unlimited all you can eat. And you get unlimited swipes as well. Pretty much all the meal plans are like that. So basically, you know, at some schools you have breakfast, you have lunch, and you have dinner. And you can buy different package, package, uh, packages or plans. And so, like, maybe you can have one swipe um, a day. Or if you got, like, the 14, like, I don't know. There's different plans. And it only allows you to get so many swipes a day or so many swipes per meal time. Um... Whereas with the meal plan I have, and the, most of the meal plans here, I think actually all of them, with them being unlimited, you can go eat breakfast as many times as you want, eat lunch as many times as you want, eat dinner as many times as you want, and you don't have to worry about running out throughout the year. You're often going to have it for that meal plan. It's, like they said, completely unlimited, and it's also all you can eat. So you go in there, you get what food you want, you can go back in line as many times as you want, eat drink as much as you want. There's always ice cream and fruits and things like that and so that's really nice. And um, so yeah, I really like that aspect. Um, and I think I'm going to answer one more question after I sign up my phone. I'm super sorry about that. 
um, one more question, um, which actually isn't, you know what, it's not a question. I'm just going to tell you one thing. I really have been enjoying this semester. That's, uh, I'm going to speak English, okay? Because I don't know what I was doing before, but I'm going to speak English now. So, I'm going to tell you one more thing that I have really been enjoying at uh, St. Mary's College of Maryland. Not so much now that it's freezing, because um, that just makes it worse. You'll get it. Okay, so any, let me just get to the point. This is a waterfront campus. So, there's like a little, uh, it's, I think it's connected to the Chesapeake Bay. Don't take my word on that, but I think that's what it is. And so there's like a little beach section, and you can go down there and do like paddleboarding and kayaking. That's what it is, and things like that. And that's really fun. Um, I assume I didn't do it, so I don't know why I said, "Oh, that's really fun." It sounds like it's gonna be fun. I haven't gotten to do it yet. Um, but there's that, and then uh, the paths you have to walk to get to the dining hall and to some of the classes. You have to go past this big embankment of water, and it's really pretty. It's always really beautiful. You often get uh, really amazing pictures. In fact, I have some awesome pictures on my Instagram, and if you want, you could go check them out of uh, the sunset in St. Mary's, and they're, I mean, beautiful. No editing needed. And um, so, yeah, so that's awful. That's really, really fun and really amazing thing that I uh, love about Point Park. Um, because I just, I love water. I love the water. I've always been a water baby. My dad was a lifeguard for most of my life, so, you know, I grew up, I grew up in the water. I love water. And so, um, that's really fun to do, and, yeah. Um, but the reason I say I haven't been enjoying it so far, um, so much right now is that it's freezing outside, and it's windy, because obviously it is winter, and wind chill when you're next to the water is a whole nother type of cold like it really is and I already knew this because actually the school I went to before was also right near the water I mean not like like this is literally right near the water you can walk and go see the water and you can here too but it's definitely not as close and it's not as much water um you can't I mean sorry could at Point Park too, but it wasn't as much water and it wasn't as close at all. But you could still definitely walk to it. Um, but yeah, I already knew that. So like, it was in Pittsburgh, so Pittsburgh is cold already, and then I was next to the water, and that just made it ten times worse. And you know, here it's freezing right now, super windy. Going by the water is, and being by the water is the worst right now. And so. Yeah, you, you know, pick and choose your battles. Do you really need the waterfront? Like, if you're choosing between waterfront and not waterfront, like, really, really consider, do you want to walk to the dining hall or walk to your classes with the wind whipping and your face burning because it is freezing or not? <laughs> because I'm telling you, I went out today um, to go get lunch and I have not left my room or went outside since because it was freezing and the wind was just horrible and I'm like definitely not looking forward to Wednesday which is the next time I have classes or tomorrow because I'm you know uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to leave my room again I am and I'm not okay with it because it is freezing but let me stop rambling I'm gonna go ahead and end this video thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed it I hope you uh, subscribe Please like the video and share it with anybody you think might enjoy it. And um, click the bell icon also. You can be notified anytime I upload. Um, thank you and have a beautiful day.